Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. This video is gonna be kind of a teaser video, I guess, of AJ, my friend Photo Runners, Dodge Ram, I guess they're not Dodge anymore, Ram 2500 AEV Prospector XL. Whew, that's a lot to say. AJ and I have been friends for a while. We've done a couple trips. You could watch Weekender Lander Moab, and then my recent Weekender Lander episode 14, part one and two, Telluride Ure. He was on that trip both of those trips with me and he just launched a YouTube channel. So I've been encouraging him for a bit to launch a YouTube channel. He's given me some great photography tips. He's a photographer, does workshops, all that stuff. We're just gonna get into this video, but what I want to encourage you to do is check out AJ's video. His first video, give it a watch, give it a like, give it a comment, tell him I sent you, get subscribed to his channel. I hope he'll be putting out like a lot of really cool content because he does really professional work. So go give him some love on his video. Watch this video first, but then in the video description, I'll link to his video so you can check out his channel as well. As always, comment on this video too. All right, we'll get into it. All right, go ahead. It's Fjotor Rönner. Mm. I like how you Is say that, that how it's pronounced? On the money. Okay. Are we recording? No, we are. Now we are? Now we are. You Cheers, start. mate. Cheers, mate. We decided to make a tradition of apple juice mimosas, apple mimosas, I guess. Apple mimosas? Sure. This is AJ. Hey. Photo Runner on Instagram. Photo Runner, I'll link below. He had a sweet OD Forerunner. You may have seen it on my channel. It's gone bye bye, replaced by an OD Green bye -bye. Ram Prospector XL. Extra That's large. A Ram 2500 mm. in. The Prospector XL edition. You know what? I really wonder what XL really means. Like, is it extra large? Like, is that what they're going for? I think XL stands for extra large. But I wonder, yeah. It's not, though. What does it stand for? No, I'm just saying it's not. It's not. It... What? <laughs> right, what's up with the hat, Mike? Annotate. I have no idea. Uh, Philip linked it to me for this trip. We bought uh, kind of, well, and no. I'm the only one wearing anything that we bought. Philip really likes these Patagonia pants. They're strip motion. The nano puffs. Uh, and then Philip was on a roll with these like obscure Crazy clothing ideas. Uh, like items. So he, he yeah. sent me a link to this and I just bought it. I think it looks good. If you wear it backwards though, like the thingies are now like sideburns <laughs> though is the thing. <laughs> I don't know that I'd wear it backwards. So, it's not really a backwards hat. No. I actually said I gotta wear this hat for the video. Okay. Yeah, hey. What's up? My name's AJ and uh, like Mike said, I'm photo runner on Instagram and I had a forerunner and now we sold that and moved up into a full size Dodge Ram 2500. So we're gonna take some time and kind of do like a little mini walk around. And then hopefully you guys will see my full YouTube video very soon on the whole truck. So yeah, this isn't a full walk around. If you want that, AJ's gonna be putting on his channel later. Um, so check out AJ's YouTube. It will be linked down below. What are, what are you on YouTube? It's like Photo Runner. Photo Runner, sure, yeah. That's F-O-T-O-R-N-R. -R. Yep. yep, so uh, cheers to that. Cheers. Some more so look for some content from AJ. He'll probably oh. doing stuff. He'll be doing like real, like not like my content. He'll be doing like mm. good video content, I would guess. Here's so good video content. Content. If you're looking for that, <laughs> check it out. Uh, as you've come to expect from my videos, it's much like this. So if you like that kind of content, get subscribed right over here. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button. Notification icon. All that good stuff. Okay, let's get into it. Here we are in the front of this giant truck. It looks bigger than it actually is because it's like up on rocks and like stuff. foot high. To get, uh, to get level for sleeping because we're actually camping here. Here's my truck. Nice pan. Over. Uh, so I'm a photographer. Um, I've been shooting for quite a while now since about 2001. Um, so yeah, we just do weddings full time and uh, we do a little bit of adventure photography and um, come out here and have some fun and uh, shoot some photos. 
He also does some photo workshops. So if you want to learn how to take kind of adventure outdoor type, sometimes vehicle related photos, yeah. he does workshops to kind of help you dial in your settings and, you know, give you some tips. Those things. Uh, so check him out for that stuff. We're out in Telluride right now. Telluride, your ray. We're on some random trail. It's beautiful. Uh, if you check either of our Instagram pages and my YouTube, I'll make a weekender lander out of it. You'll see plenty of photos from this trip. Philip is on the trip too. He's behind the camera right now. <coughs> Thanks, Philip. Thanks, Phil. Love. So, Prospector. Yes. Yes. So this is a Dodge 2500. It's a diesel. diesel. Yep. But it's got a special package <clears throat> on it. It does. And the package is from a company called AEV which is American Expedition Vehicles. Yep. And this specific model is the Prospector XL. It's a 2018 AEV Prospector XL. Um, basically, it's something that, uh, well, it's a 20, it started off as a Laramie Sport 2500 from Dodge. It is a Cummins diesel, uh, automatic, and it's a crew cab with a six and a half foot bed. Um, and it's something that I had been looking into for a while. We're set. Sweet. Thumb more? Should we do a thumb more? Wait. So, one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb more. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, you got me. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, that was really awkward, but it was fun. They liked it, so that's fine. <laughs> Hey, hey everyone. Hey guys, I'm here with AJ, my good bud. You've probably seen his big, crazy truck in all of these recent Weekender Landers, but we didn't really do a proper walk around. We didn't. I'm here at SEMA. He's in the Dometic, Dometic booth. Says it up there, Dometic. So we're gonna walk around his truck. Anything you wanna tee it up with? Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do want to say, so you guys will be able to see the full like walk around. I am going to do one um, before this comes out. So this will be like, I guess, following up with that. Yeah. Um, so I will be doing my own YouTube channel walk around and like really starting to do some videos in the next coming whatevers. Um, so you'll see that first, but we just wanted to cover it again. With yeah. Our good friend, Mike. So AJ has an Instagram photo runner. He has a YouTube channel. Photo runner, Google yep. photo, photo runner, photo runner, <laughs> and you'll find it all. I'll link Voodoo it. Runner. Link it down below. He's gonna be doing some more YouTube videos. Yes, I've been telling him YouTube's cool, kind of sometimes yep. when the comments are okay. But yeah, we're even gonna, when they're bad, it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna do it. I'm gonna yeah. do this interview style because my hand is getting like super tired. So here we go. Purchase this in. March this year. So uh, here it is, we've done some things to it, so, and that's why we're here. We're gonna go ahead and walk around and see what we've done. Um, but up front we went So with, if yes. you want like a very, very detailed yeah, yeah, yeah. one with like much better lighting and video quality, <laughs> I'm guessing, audio quality, so. <laughs> check out the video that's already released. I'll link it down below. Yeah, perfect. So basically what we did up front, we went with the LP9 and the LP6. Uh, we did LP9s up front on the bull bar. We put LP6 here in the fog lights. I know it's a little aggressive, but it's okay. Um, we ended up going with a 20 inch Onyx 6 bar. Uh, also from AEV, you get this really cool hood. Um, it's stamped steel, it's vented, it actually works, which is rad. A lot of people are asking, hey man, why, why did you have 40s or did you put 40s on the truck? No, this is actually, again, a product from AEV. Again, this is a, the Prospector XL. With the XL, you get these beautiful, Beautiful fenders, so they do cut here. Um, you get the fenders, the high mark fenders, to, in order to fit this 40. They move the axle about an inch and a quarter forward, uh, cut the fenders, put the high marks on, and now you're able to fit a 17 by 10 wheel along with the 40 inch tire, which is really, really rad. By only raising the front end, I believe it's three inches in the front and two inches in the rear. So really, really cool, it's functional, and that's one of the reasons why I ended up buying this particular truck. So another thing that we ended up going with is AEV makes two different styles of their snorkel. Uh, we just installed this. It is another option you can get from them if you pre-build the truck. Uh, this truck didn't have it, so I definitely wanted to put it on. But it comes with two different air filters. Uh, this is a pre-filter, which I opted to go for, and then it comes with a ram air filter that you've seen, uh, you know, a little snorkel guy that goes this direction. Hey, get away from the truck, creeper. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Uh, hey, AJ, how do you get in that truck? Well. It's so big. It's so big. No, so anyways, what's really cool 
Uh, this is another factory option. I believe, yeah, you can get it on just the regular Prospector or the Prospector XL or any Dodge truck at all. But these are really rad. A lot of people are pretty stoked on them when they see them come down from the truck. They are not a rock slider. These will definitely, they're, I believe they're aluminum. They will crush. And luckily, I've had this thing on a lot of trails. I've done some stupid stuff with this truck already. And I'm, I've been fortunate not to hit any of my rocker panels or these at all. So they're good. Love them. They're great. That's how we get in. And then we did a Kinsman Hardware awning. It's a 270 awning. Um, I love it. It's really, really rad. It's very easy to set up. It goes obviously 270 degrees. So it'll cover this side of the truck and it'll cover fully on the back side of the truck. Uh, and then real quick on top of the GFC, we have a couple Max Trax mounts, or mounts, no, Max Trax boards up there. Uh, also with our Boulder 100 uh, Gold Zero panel. Uh, we're probably gonna put one more panel up there just to get a little bit more wattage to go into our Yeti 1400 um, and give us more power while we're on the road and be able to charge our equipment. Uh, well, I guess be out on the road longer and charge our equipment. So uh, yeah, that's what's on top of there, uh, which is really rad, using their beef racks if you're curious about that. Uh, but yeah, that's the top of the GFC. The GFC, how did we set it up? Um, we have a few Axia alloy mounts that we have a fire extinguisher on, a couple things that we use, flashlights, I don't know, iPad, iPhone holders, radio holders, um, holds our, our first aid kit. So we're using their mounts. Uh, inside of here, we'll, we'll hop in in a second, but from what you guys can see, it's a pretty rad system. It is a tube frame, and then on top of the tube frame is the tent. Um, I also use it as a mobile office, and it's kind of set up the way I would use it, but since we're at the show, I kind of have it you know, coming out in a display a different way. Um, see my video, I'll have it set up the way I normally have it when I'm out in the wild. So AJ is an adventure-based photographer, so a lot of his That's editing right. and workflows and everything are done in his truck while he's out. All right, so the Prospector XL is kind of, it's a big truck, it's not kind of, I guess. Like, I'm six foot tall, and this is where the tailgate comes up on me. Um, the cool thing about this truck and what they do, they think about stuff like that. So you've got the amp research step that comes down, um, and then the fun part about the GFC is I kind of had a jump to close this, but now we've got like this cool little, you know, rig little lanyard that I pull down, and I'm able to close it really easily. This is the back of the truck. This is kind of how it's set up when we're on an adventure or a camping trip. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of space in here, and the difference I did in this truck than the 4Runner is I wanted to kind of keep everything concealed, and I didn't want to have like, you know, stuff hanging off the back. Not only that, it's kind of hard to find a 40-inch wheel tire combo carrier on the back of this truck and the bumper and things like that, so we're still in the works of kind of researching that. But for now, we ended up going with like an SDHQ Tire Rack Baja holder. Um, and then down here, what I was talking about earlier, this is the slave unit from Switch Pro. So it's a SP9100. Um, and then there I have a, you're able to like mount, I believe, up to four of these panels anywhere in a vehicle. Uh, so we actually put a slave mount back here so when we're actually concealed and everybody's in here and if there's anything going on outside, we're able to flip on any of the lights. And then we have one button here that turns on all of the lights, which is really rad. So if anyone's in our campsite that we are in the middle of the night, you're gonna scare them because it's gonna light up the whole world, basically. We've got the brand new CFX3 um, refrigerator from Dometic along with a slide. This is a 55. So what's cool about this one is that it's the same footprint as the 50, but it's a 55 liter. So you're actually getting a little bit more space in the same footprint, which is really awesome. I put this cute little bath mat in here just because it's comfortable and squishy and it feels good on my feet. Um, and yeah, are we ready to do this big spoon, little spoon thing? <laughs> good, <laughs> I got the nod from Mike. <laughs> so. I was nodding, it's an ongoing joke we have of our first video together. Yeah. Where we were up, not really cuddling, but acting like we were cuddling. Totally. In case you're confused about that. Um, but AJ was big spoon that night, I think. Yeah. And then we switch it off. Yeah. Every whenever we get together. But if you really want to see what we're talking about, you can go to the previous video that he did a few months ago, some somewhere. Remember, yeah. remind me to link it because yes. I won't remember. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, link it. Uh, we're inside of the GFC right now. It's kind of weird, but this is the truck bed down here where the refrigerator and everything is and this is the sleeping area yes that we can stand up i mean i can 
not even touch the top. So AJ has this set up. Oh, I'm just gonna let you talk. I'm, you just I'm talk. a little bummed though because I don't have it set up enough to do little spoon, big spoon. But if it's good. But let's kind of run through it and yeah. we'll show you how we'd get to that, uh, whatever. Big spoon, little spoon. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So um, this is set up uh, for how I'd run my office, I guess you could say. And it's only set up this way because we are still at the show and I've got to go in this direction. I want people to see it. But I can totally hold a whole case full of gear up here. 15-inch uh, laptop, I've got my Goal Zero stuff, um, Sony camera, whatever, you know, I've got everything that I need up here, um, and it's comfortable. Um, if you go back to my video that is out right now, you'll see the full setup and exactly how I'd have it uh, out in the open. But these panels come out on top of this, and they go here, and you move the cubbies up, and then that's how you get in and out. You also have this third door here. Um, you can run a ladder, GFC has that as well. Um, but yeah, this is it. And one reason why I went this direction is because well, exactly what we're doing right now. Like we can stand up, I can conceal this whole thing. I can put a heater like we had in Colorado. What was there, three of us in here with two chairs and I was up here chilling watching yeah. uh, Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre. Right, right, right. So we were all in here because it was super windy outside and we were just trying to get out of the elements and have a good time and still chat without like yelling at each other. Um, and it was awesome. So the way it's set up now, it's definitely more for maybe one or two people with the kid and we can stand in here, change, whatever. You can even poo in here if you wanted to in a toilet not just on the deck um, and kind of go from there but that's it man like it's, it's this is what we're doing it's beautiful it's good hangs so I I don't have a GFC camper it's my first experience actually hanging out in one and like seeing the benefits of one of these things yeah it's hard to really know or feel or experience until you've actually experienced it. Obviously, that's a, that was a really dumb statement. But <laughs> getting in here and actually hanging out, I'm like, oh, this is actually this is cooler than it looks. I mean, it looks cool from the outside, but it's yeah. actually it's functional, functional. Man. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So it's kind of like the main drawback was like, oh, you got to take out a panel to get up and down into the bed, and I still think that's the drawback. You yep. can just use it like a regular rooftop tent yep. out the door. Yeah. But the pros are. You can set up like this. Yes. Hang out, workspace, Stand up office, chill, sit down get out yeah. of the elements. Right, man. So it's, it's it works out. I dig it. I, I really enjoy it. And um, you know, the truck it has a lot to offer. If you're looking to get into a full size truck or anything like that, the power from this thing, just the room I have, just it's a different functionality than the Forerunner. And it's just something that we're growing into, and we love it. And you know, we're we're hoping to tow some stuff here in the next couple of years. And if that's what I mean, that's kind of why we got the truck. It's like, have this as a solo mission for our workshops or the trips that we take, like as friends or whatever. And then- Overlund. To, Overlund, yes. Um, and then to be able to take my wife and my child and maybe set up for uh, towing and then have a base camp at our workshops and then like take off with the guys and come back to the base camp. So this truck has been awesome. I've had it for a little over six months now and I'm enjoying the hell out of it. So, um, but yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, you can either probably go to my video and get a lot of them answered just because I'll go into a lot more detail um, or just ask below and you know I'll be visiting Mike's channel here to check this out and if I have questions or you guys have questions obviously I don't have questions for you guys um, we'll you answer could. yeah we could you yeah could ask a question. Um, you know what kind of cereal do you like go ahead and uh, throw that down below because that's What's his your favorite one. cereal I'm always yes. on the hunt dude for what exactly You're, you have a favorite cereal. I do well I have a couple uh, but one of my favorites that I bring very often to my trips is cinnamon toast crunch so I'll start it off I've Cinnamon it. Toast Crunch, um, one of my favorites. Fruity Pebbles. It's done. There you it's go. Me. So Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. I, now I get it. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so, anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, please go to my channel. You'll see the full, like full, full detailed walk around on here. Um, I really appreciate Mike spending the time with me here and doing this quick little little shout out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Cool. Oh, yeah. Runner. Thanks. Com. Oh hey. This is our friend Jason. Oh, he's gone. Small right. runner. <laughs> he's got a YouTube too. Yep. Also. Yep. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks for the walk around. Yeah, man. Check out AJ. AJ is a great guy. Good friend of mine. Yes. Uh, I know a lot of people in the industry and I call very few of them friends. Oh, thanks, man. Really. <laughs> this guy's my friend. Oh, that's just terrible. So, uh, <laughs> check out his channel. Give Please him a do. follow. Thanks. Comment down below. Even if even if you're gonna go watch his video to get an answer, just comment down below for the algorithm. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Cereal, don't forget. Favorite, Favorite cereal. cereal. Till next time. Take care. Peace.